Welcome to Sunday's MLB recap, where I'm going to be recapping the best moments from the day. Kevin Biggio is going to hit a go-ahead three-run homer for the Jays in the bottom of the eighth to help avoid the sweep. They had two comebacks in this game. They were down 6-1 at a point. They were down 4-0 before they even got to bat in the first inning. So they're going to take this one against the Twins, thanks to Kevin Biggio, late innings. The Diamondbacks are going to pick up their 40th win on the season, and they are just not stopping at all. They have no end goal in sight because right now they are 15 games over 500. Christian Walker down to their last out is going to give them a lead. Thanks to the left field, they're fumbling the ball, so they're going to complete the sweep over the Tigers. The Yankees have a very uninspiring series without Aaron Judge. They continue to struggle, especially offensively without Judge. They're the worst offense in the league at about three runs per game statistically. Kike Hernandez is going to give a hit as the Red Sox. It's a different Yankees-Red Sox rivalry field, but they're still going to take the series in the Bronx, so they'll take that anytime they can get it. The Rays, in the matchup of the two best teams in the American League, are going to take two out of three. Shane McClanahan already reaches double-digit wins. He has 10 wins on the season. Wander Franco delivered a clutch three-run homer, but the Rays' offense just kept hitting, even against a very good Rangers team. Ellie De La Cruz has just been so electric, and ever since they called him up on Tuesday, they have a record of 4-2, and two. and they're going to take this series against their division rivals, St. Louis Cardinals. Now they're just four games behind the Pirates and Brewers atop the NL Central. Marcus Stroman made this tweet yesterday that was saying, my agent and I made multiple attempts to engage them on an extension. Club wasn't interested in exploring it now. We'll see how it plays out. So basically he's saying that he was looking to engage in extension talks with the Chicago Cubs, but they weren't interested at the moment. He has a player option that he's almost for sure going to opt out at the end of this season because of how well he's been pitching. But if they end up trading him at the trade deadline, if they don't have plans to extend him, that could definitely be a huge piece and the biggest piece of the trade deadline with teams like the Giants and Padres expected to be among teams interested according to the Athletic. The Giants, they won over the Cubs today and then Nolan Jones is going to deliver a 472 foot moonshot in Coors Field to walk off the Padres to the Rockies. They're getting the good win. It was absolutely downpouring in rain. That's why a lot of the fans left but Nolan Jones making the fans that stayed happy. Andrew McCutcheon records his 2000th major league hit in a Pirates uniform. It just feels right. Mitch Keller throws a seven inning gem as the Mets lose another series this time to the Pittsburgh Pirates. But Andrew McCutcheon, definitely the star of the show. He got a game ball today. The Oakland A's have now won five straight games. They won a series in Pittsburgh against the Pirates. And now they're going to go to Milwaukee and take care of the NL Central leading Brewers. This is just crazy. It just shows it's Major League Baseball. Anything can happen. They won two out of three against the Braves. Seth Brown go ahead three run homer they would roll to a win today the marlins would have a big comeback in the eighth and ninth inning as that's going to cap off today's mlb recap but the marlins are now seven games above 500 it's been a lot of one run wins but at the end of the day they just find ways to win and that is all that matters those were the best moments from the action sunday